Pellagra doesn't cause bloody vomit. She's still sick and getting worse. So, what causes Pellagra and Crimson Spew? Dead baby, while sad, not our problem. I should have given him more polystyrene. You killed him. If you don't get over it, you're gonna kill Mama too. Her alcoholism caused the pellagra. Maybe it also explains the vomiting, gastritis. Gastritis meds aren't helping, which may confirm her story she only slipped once. You remove the drinking from the equation, internal bleeding, hypercalcemia, seizure, and pellagra are all back in. Chase, will you get your head out of the dead baby's butt and focus on the barely alive? How much polystyrene did you give the kid? One gram. His potassium just kept rising. Son. Who are you? Your wife's doctor. Your son may have had the same condition she does. My son didn't have a condition. She killed him. If I biopsy her intestines, she'll bleed out. He obviously won't. You're not using my son's body to help her. Okay. How about trading him for a beer? Or maybe you more of a whiskey guy. You didn't have strep or stomach bug the morning you came in. You puked because you were hungover. Accused a recovered drunk of slipping most of the time. You'll be right. So I drink. You're acting like this is my fault. People are going to feel sorry for you. They'll tell you that you can't anticipate the unthinkable. Well, the fact is you can. It's just not all that pleasant. Look, you don't know anything I know about... that people don't get crazy enough to kill someone without first being crazy enough for someone to notice. How many times did you go for a drink because she was crying? How many times did you stay at work because you couldn't listen to her telling you what a bad mother she is? You were relieved when she shut down. You just sat staring for hours at a time. She held the pillow over his head. You slept while she went nuts. Not exactly a draw, but... What is wrong with you? What kind of a person says those things now? Let me do the test. Be one less thing for you to feel crappy about. Got a dead baby for you to biopsy. Let Cameron do it. Love working Nick you. I could get you transferred. I told you I just wanted to trust patients. You don't give a crap about patients. Your paycheck. You've been double dipping, taking your vacation time here while drawing a salary in NICU. Strange, rich boy doing all that for some extra cash. I'm not rich. But your dad was. Now he's dead. If you're not rich, that means that daddy cut you out. I'm not rich. Don't let it change you. And do the test. Compassion. Take Michael into your arms. Welcome him into paradise. There'll be no sorrow, no weeping, and no pain. Peace and joy forevermore. It was a date. Cuddy's negative for all cancer markers. It was a date. Baby's intestines show slight villous atrophy. How would a baby have flattened villi? He's being treated with polystyrene. Polystyrene shouldn't. It didn't. The question is, what did they use in the NICU to bind it together? 
Wheat gluten. It's great stuff, unless your body can't tolerate it. The baby didn't have colic, he had celiac disease? Just like mom. Celiac can be triggered by all kinds of stress. Bills, childbirth, drunk husband. Every time she had a bowl of pasta or a slice of bread or a slosh of soy sauce, her small intestine became more damaged, less able to absorb the vitamins and minerals in her bloodstream. Her body couldn't absorb enough niacin to cause the pellagra, couldn't absorb vitamin K to cause the bleeding. And celiac is why the baby's meds didn't work. His body just couldn't absorb them. Switch mom to IV nutrition. It's gluten-free. It'll spruce her bill high right up. No, celiac causes nutritional deprivation. Our patient has excess calcium. Tell him what causes excess calcium with a chaser of bloody vomit. Celiac patients are susceptible to cancer of the stomach lining. She has malt lymphoma. Well, she's your patient now. And it wasn't a date. I killed my son. Is it my turn to say something obvious now? Oh, I know. You were insane. I did it. I chose to do it. Yeah, like diabetics choose to not produce insulin. Listen, someone got sick, someone died. It happens every day. The only difference in this case is it wasn't the same someone. I could have stopped. I didn't have to listen to those voices. Spoken like a true sane person. This is not your fault. You're healthy now, except for the cancer. Those voices felt as real to me as, as Michael's hand right here when he nursed. And the smell of his hair. do not deserve to die. Maybe. I don't want to live. She said no. So we get her declared unstable, the point of medical crisis. She was unstable now, she's sane. She's entitled to refuse the treatment. You have to change your mind, you can't just walk away. Fine, go on in there and tell her that every day is a blessing. So you killed your baby, shake it off, think positive. At least you're alive. Hmm. Kinda hard to sell when you don't believe it, huh? You never believed it. You just wanted all that crap you went through to mean something. Well, it didn't mean anything, it never does. Welcome back. Why are you doing this to me? I was happy. We're aspiring to be content. Don't give me a semantic argument. I was content with the way things were. That's what happiness is. Yeah, if we were all just satisfied with what we had, what a beautiful world it would be. We'd all slowly starve to death in our own filth, but at least we'd be happy. Listen, I need your self-worth to hang on this job. Kicking ass here to be all that lets you rise above miserable. If waking up in the morning is enough. I don't need you. I can live with that. You can't. Not anymore. If you got treatment, then maybe we could... When you see Mikey, tell him Stat says he's sorry. 